Now, Anna Slot's name has been oh, all go, over Stevie. the oh. papers. <laughs> uh, yes, and there's a big talk now that Liverpool and Feyenoord have verbally agreed a compensation package for him to be Jurgen Klopp's successor at Liverpool. So let's hear from Klopp himself on what he thinks of Anna Slot. I would like a lot about it at first moment that if he is the one that he wants to take the job, really. And he's desperate, well, come on, let's go for it, excited, rather. Um, I like the, f the way his team play football. I can say that definitely all the things I hear about him as a, as a guy, good guy. Some people I know know him. I don't know him yet, but um, some people tell me that he's a really good guy, and um, I, I like that a lot. So, good coach, good guy. Looking forward for the club if he's the solution or the, the, the man. Then I'm more than happy. It's not up to me to judge the things, but I, that sounds all really good to me. Um, what about the rest of the question? Oh, just, yeah. What kind of job is he taking? How would you describe it? Best job in the world, best club in the world, best job in the world. Um, and obviously now uh, help even with not finishing on a high, it looks like. So there's space for improvement, let me say it like that. Um, oh, great job, great team, fantastic people. Um, yeah. No. It takes a good, would, would take a really, really interesting um, job. Julian Laurent joining us now to talk more about this. It looks as though Arna Slot is going to be the one, Jules. Tell us why Liverpool have decided on this man. Yeah, you're right. The two clubs have had an agreement tonight. Uh, for Northern Liverpool, around 11 million euros with bonus included, adds on included for, for Arna Slot. I mean, they're getting one of the... Really, if you think about the Eredivisie as, let's say, the sixth best league in Europe, which, which it is, I think, then you, you, he's one of the best managers in the last three years in the, six, in the six big leagues. There's no doubt about that. He obviously won the double domestically. He got to the Europa League final with Feyenoord, lost to, uh, lost to Roma. But overall, it's been, it's been a really good time for him at Feyenoord. The way he plays, he's a very proactive coach with a lot of running, a lot of pressing, really fit players, a lot of cutbacks, for example. This is one of his main trades. Uh, what I like the most, I guess, about Arne Slot is how he improves the players, because it's one thing to be great tactically and to have a, a, a good style of play and, and putting a good system in place. But I think improving players, especially young players, is something that he's very, very good at, that he's done at Feyenoord through all those years. Uh, and I think something that... There's no reason for him to change that he could do at Liverpool as well with some of the players there. So I think he ticks a lot of the boxes. He speaks very good English, obviously. He's had European experience. He's been winning in his domestic league. Maybe his league is not as good as the Bundesliga that Klopp had won before coming to Liverpool. But certainly I think he ticks a lot of the boxes that exactly what Liverpool wanted. And he's also, in terms of data, there's a lot of similarities between his final team and, the, and, Klopp, and Liverpool and the club. See, you're going to be fine. You're going to be all right, Stevie. I'll tell you what, though. You got, you, that, this is what makes Klopp stand out from everybody else. I mean, who do you know leaving a job turns around and says, well, I'm basically leaving you with room for improvement? I mean, who does that? Nobody does that. He's, he's putting himself down. That's incredible. Leaving that, a job like that and saying there's room for improvement. Unfortunately, the fact that he does that and the fact of the personality he is and his character and the way he is, that's what's going to be difficult for Arne Schlott. I don't think it's... It's not going to be the coaching or the tactics or anything like that. It's... It's having a strong personality and being honest. Liverpool fans love honesty. They don't want to hear tall tales about improvement when it's not happening or, or excuses. They want straight talking and they want character. Now, if this guy has those two things, allied with the, the players that he's been given just now, and hopefully he will add to it, then he has a chance. That's, that's what he's got right now. He's got a chance. What do you want to see after the first, say, five or ten games if he's coached next season? What will make you th say, OK, maybe this was a good appointment? Uh, be competing at the top of the league. I don't, I don't want a... Two draws, two losses, two defeats kind of scenario where it's, well, we're, just, we're, we're finding our feet and all that. No, no, I mean, no. I, 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 want, I want a good start. I want a, a winning start. Primarily because of the team that he's been given. 
It's a, it's a team that's been at the top of the league for most of the season. It's a team that clearly just isn't quite good enough. So the fact that you're taking over a team like that, you, you've got to get them back on track quickly. But it's a team of players that any coach would love to be coaching, surely, Ali. Well, and that's why when Arnes Law was asked about this, he said, yeah, yes, yes, I yes, want please. the Liverpool job. Oh, of course, of course. And while I appreciate, and, and Jules did a really good job of lining up the things that Arnold Slot has doing. And on paper, it all seems like he has taken all the necessary steps to now take this big jump. Which, look, at, at some point, you got to take a chance if you're Liverpool. And what I, if I'm a Liverpool fan and I, I put myself in that position, what I would want to see is that, yeah, that this is a big jump, but that there isn't a leap into the unknown. And... That could be the situation because we don't quite know, none of us do actually, none of us do, not even Arnold Slot does, none of us know how his re relation and with the players is going to develop in a short period of time. In order to get to that good start that Stevie's talking about, that relation has to be right from the very first meeting. And from the very first meeting, as Stevie knows, and I know, when you have a new manager that shows up, you get a really good idea as a player what this guy is all about mm. and, and what kind of message he has and whether you can believe and get behind that message. And so his first few days at Liverpool and the interactions with those players has to be right on point from the very beginning in order to get this going in the right direction. And if you do, then all this momentum that Stevie's talking about in terms of the talent personnel that you have available, then that takes over. But if the guys don't buy into whatever he's selling from early on, it's going to be tough, 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 because he's always going to be compared to that guy, the other guy, Gaffer, Club, when the Gaffer was here. And when you have that sort of conversation, it makes it very difficult for everybody to perform at their best level. And that guy's got a few more games yet as Liverpool manager. In fact, this weekend, they will be taking on West Ham. And even though they are now huge outsiders when it comes to the title race, when it comes to our predictions, we've all been a lot more favourable towards Liverpool. Every single one of us tonight has got Liverpool winning this game this weekend. And we'll be looking back on it on the next edition of ESPN FC. Be sure to be with us every single day to keep up to date with all the biggest games and all the biggest stories in football.